How's it going? I'm about to do this post mall workout. It's a mace, mace training. It's my own routine I've come up with from watching other people do things and modifying them to turn into a more overall body workout. These post malls are pretty interesting. They're all sand cast. Each one's different. Cowboys used to use these things to drive fence posts. I make my own handles. I laminate them. I put a nub on the bottom so it doesn't slide out of my grip. You don't need to do this with this kind of weight. This is kind of heavy. I'm used to it. If you want to do this, you can do this with a sledgehammer, and that's what I recommend you starting with. What I love about this is, is you can take it with you anywhere. You can put it in a van, travel with it, so van lifers, this is good for you. I'm going to start off with just a quick warm-up here. Where I'm just going to throw this thing here from side to side, a little bit of a lunge. I'm just kind of warming up the body. Okay, one of the things you can do when you're warming up is get all the way down into a deep lunge to the point where you touch the ground. You'll also notice I'm barefoot. You could do this in your yard in the grass, and when you're barefoot working out outside, it's great because you're grounding yourself to the earth. Might sound all hippy-dippy, but it's for real. Okay, the next move is what you all see. And what you normally see people doing is standing up straight like this, dropping this and pulling it. What I like to do is get into a horse stance. This turns into a more overall body workout because I'm flexing my thighs the whole time. So it's a thigh burner. And what I like to do here is switch the grip. I like to do, by the way, I do 20 reps per side on every move. Your upper hand is the side you drop the shoulder over that shoulder. It's a drop and a pull. It's a drop and a pull. So what I do next is I switch the grip I do the other side. The other thing I'm doing is you see how this is oriented. I'm swinging this behind my back so it's this way, not this way. You could hit yourself with that thing. You want to always be mindful of that. Again, horse stance, flexing your core the whole time. Okay, this next one comes from when I was in the Marine Corps. <laughs> it's a parry and thrust. So this comes from bayonet training. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm switching sides each rep. So it's a parry and a thrust. And you'll notice I'm kind of in a fighting stance. It's a parry, thrust, I throw it in the air. I let go with both hands, I catch it. A parry and a thrust. And it's pretty, should be pretty obvious that this is a whole body workout. By the way, the whole time you're doing this, you're working grip strength. Okay, this uh, next one's called the Grave Digger. I add a little bit to it. The way they usually do is they just do this and up. I turn this into a whole body thing where I come back, I look back, you want to rotate your neck, get that spinal, full spinal stretch, come back here, get into a deeper lunge with a bounce, drop this behind your back, full tricep extension up. And you can switch it, get the other side. actually getting two back rotations per rep on this and you'll see when I come down I'm holding it this way when I come down before I drop it I'm spinning it so it's the flat side against my back Okay, next one is a totally unique move I've invented myself. It's a lunge. When you do this, you want to try to make sure you put this foot 
almost directly behind the front foot. On the down swing, you want your that same side that the hammer's on, you want that foot to be back. And when you swing this, you wanna make sure you're going off on a little bit of an angle because you don't wanna break your leg. You can crack your friggin' femur with this thing. <laughs> so it's a boom, a tricep extension, back down, throw it up, catch it. Same thing in this hand. Tricep extension. I like to get that little bounce in there. You know, you're working your knees. I mean, again, overall body workout here. <clears throat> Just be mindful where this thing is going. <sighs> Try to get that tricep extension where you're up, you're getting a full extension, you're holding it for that beat and then dropping it. This is lubricating your shoulders real well. that Astro van in the background, most badass vehicle on the road. <laughs> this next one's real basic. You'll see this on the Mace training sites. It's a squat. I'm not doing anything extra with this other than I'm bringing it back and then coming down. That's it. Nice deep squat here. I'm bringing it back. Tricep extension. I'm bringing it down. Real simple. But, you know, do 10 reps like this and then switch your grip. You want to switch your grip because it's going to stretch the muscles on each side just that much differently. And there me, that's me screwing up, but that's okay. <laughs> so again. Real simple. This next one, again, it's still a full body workout, but I'm also trying to focus. It's a hammer curl in a lunge. So I get into a lunge, I keep my hand here, I bring this up. It's a hammer curl with a shoulder pull. See how I'm lifting the shoulder? And you know, really easy 20 of these per side. Now you can get more complicated where you do this and then switch it and pull this up and then switch it. Normally, all I'm doing is I'm staying here like this and pulling this up, dropping it, pull up, dropping it, pull up. This, in effect, if you're a bodybuilder, if you're into that sort of thing, uh, it, this kind of lengthens your bicep muscle, the hammer curl. We all know this, right? So I do like the idea of swapping it and stepping because you're getting more of a cardio routine in this. And keep in mind, you'll hear me breathing heavy. This is a cardio workout, but at the same time you're building muscle. This next one here, again, this is gonna focus on just a muscle group mainly. And it's just as simple as this. Pivot with this hand, lift with this hand. It's a bicep curl. Now, you can get into a bit of a squat, make this more of a body workout. And keep in mind, the further your hand is away from the weight, the heavier it is. This is all I'm doing. Bam, and I'm gonna focus on that bicep. It's no different really than doing a one arm bicep curl with a dumbbell. When I say no different, it's working the bicep the same way, but you're working all your muscles because you're pushing down with your opposing arm with the tricep the whole time. Okay. Next one, you worked that side. Now you want to work your triceps. Just grab this thing. Again, the further your hand is from the weight, the heavier it is. Real easy getting a horse stance here. Focus on your core. It's funny, it's like push-ups, 
when you focus on your core doing push-ups, you do more push-ups. If you tighten your core when you're doing pull-ups, you do more pull-ups. So it's the same type of thing. So look, I'm not putting names on most of these moves. This is one of my all-time favorite moves. I don't recommend you trying this with a heavy weight if you're just starting out. I guess you'd like call this the Viking Warrior or something. It's, uh, and there's two different ways to do it as far as where you stop. This is very similar to where people are swinging the hammer and hitting a tire, but you're not hitting anything. It's better not to hit anything because stopping the weight works the backs of those muscles. You understand what I'm saying? You don't do that when you hit a tire. When you're hitting a tire, you get more cardio, you're throwing a hammer around, but you're not building those muscles the same way. So it's a swing over the head and come down, stopping it. Switching the legs, same thing. I love this. I'll just put on some crazy ACDC or something. grip strength the whole time. I don't know if you're looking at me or that badass Astro van behind me. I don't know. So I've probably left a few exercises out. But I just want to point something out. In the few minutes we've been here, look at the pump. I don't even have to flex this. It's crazy. Just from this, that's the grip strength. So you're clearly getting a pump from this. And you can hear me breathing. This is no joke of a workout. And anybody can do it. But again, start off light. All right. Start off with the sledgehammer. Work yourself up to something heavier. You could make this. You can buy a mace. They sell mace workout equipment. <laughs> they're not cheap, but they're out there. If you wanted me to make you one of these, it would cost you more than buying one of those maces. <laughs> it's just too much custom work. That's it. Have a good day. Be kind to each other. Work out. Use it or lose it.